Well, good afternoon, little foot adventures. Today is the day. Today is the day we are moving the spare tire underneath the camper. As you can see, we have a spare tire here on the front tongue. And my goal is to move this under the camper so I can add a larger tongue box here to set up a dual battery system. So what I have installed, let me show you. is a ratchet, a spare tire center. Um, I've tried thinking of different ways to get this tire in a different place on the camper. <clears throat> and I saw this online, thought I'd give it a try. So let me show you how it's installed. <clears throat> so to start off, you have to measure the width of your camper, find your center point. So you're mounting it directly in the center. I did, that way it keeps the weight evenly uh, when traveling. So let me get underneath there and show you how it's mounted. So as you can see, it's got two bars right here. Kind of difficult. This is the brace to tire, keep it sturdy. This is where the tire hooks in and then you have another brace right here so this is bolted to the frame here in the back and then it's extended with an extension bar that comes with it to about the middle of the camper so um so it'll fit your camper the only thing you have to take consideration, you have your gas lines. Uh, this one's running over top, so it's not going to be in the way. There is one down at the other end. I'm going to kind of move over because it's kind of close to the mounting bracket. But other than that, it seems to be really sturdy. Um, it only has one bolt right here to anchor it together to make one solid piece. It's pretty sturdy. Um, you have two bolts in the back, one in the center, and two bolts in the front. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove the spare, and we'll see if we can get it up here and installed. Okay, with a three-quarter inch nut driver, I lowered the arm down. Then you put the little tongue, which is right here, in the center of your hub. And at this point, you put your nut driver back on. And slowly lower, raise it up. Okay, now you can see that it is raised up all the way. Clearance-wise, still quite a bit of clearance. Um, I'd say it's a good 10 inches off the ground from being mounted on the back of the camper but other than that it went smooth I mean it was no problems you could hear the ratchet struggling with it a little bit get it up there but other than that installation went really smooth really pleased really happy but now by doing that I have this now open and I have to remove this part and I'm going to take a cutoff wheel and cut this bracket off so that's completely out of the way and then that'll open this little area up to put my tongue box on. So once again if you have any questions on how this is installed um, hit me up let me know what you think see if it's something you want to do to your camper let me give you a rear view of what it looks like looks actually pretty pretty clean so once again at the kit I actually got it from Camping World and here is the name of the kit and I believe that is a part number 28240 but yeah it's really pleased with it side view um, I 
really happy, really happy of how it turned out. Let me get you underneath here so you can see. It's pretty much centered on the axle. But man, I cannot complain about that. It is awesome. Once again, any questions, let me know. Thanks. Bye. Oh yeah, one more thing I forgot to tell you that I'm going to do is here, I, my concern was people can just come up here with a three-quarter inch socket, lower my tire and run off with it. So I'm gonna, actually going to put a bracket that comes out with a hinge with a plate that goes across the front of this. And then I'm going to put a lock right here so no one can steal the tire. They'd have to, have to cut the lock in order to do that. So it's just a security for myself makes me feel better knowing that no one can take off my tire but that's the upgrade i'm going to do to this system i don't know why they didn't come up with something like that when they sell the, the equipment but it should be quick and easy but once i do that i'll send a put a picture up on the uh the group on facebook all right thank you